Hello, I'm Dr. Mangla Devi. I'm the clinical director at Smile Baby IVF and the consultant at KC Raju Multi-Speciality Hospital. So IVF consists of several small procedures that is done over a period of the menstrual cycle of the woman. So it consists of several small steps whereas injections are given in order to stimulate the ovaries to produce eggs. So these injections may be given for anywhere between 8 days to 12 days depending on the woman's health. So the AMH levels and the antral follicular count are done to determine how many injections and for how long it is given. So once the eggs are ready, then we do another procedure which is known as egg pickup where the eggs are retrieved surgically from the mother to do the vaginal route. So this may take another 36 hours after the trigger injection. Following this, the eggs are inseminated with the sperm and these are cultured in what is known as the incubator for 3 days to 5 days. After this, the embryo transfer occurs. These embryos are transferred into the womb of the mother. Following this embryo transfer, there is a procedure where we support the pregnancy to several injections that may be given over a period of 14 days. After this 14 days, then a beta HCG or a blood test is done to determine whether the pregnancy is positive or not. So in short, the procedure may take anywhere between 4 weeks to probably a little more 5 weeks. Sometimes the eggs may be frozen and may be transferred at a later date. In these cases, it may take even longer, maybe two months to three months. Thanks.